Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about how to subtract mixed numbers. And for these, we're gonna have to borrow or regroup. So the first two pages, you're gonna take notes with me and we're gonna do a couple problems together. And then you have a chance to try a problem on your own and then see how you did. All right, so the first problem we have is seven and one fourth, take away two and three quarters. And what I've done is I give you a little checklist on how to do this type of problem. So step number one and number two is we need to uh, make sure that when we subtract the fractions, they have the same denominator. And in this case, they do. All right, so this one's gonna be a little bit easier than the next problem we're gonna solve. So now what I need to do is I need to subtract, okay, three quarters from one fourth. And I can't do that. So to start off, I'm gonna rewrite this problem as seven and one fourth minus two and three quarters. So now what I need to do is, because I can't take away three quarters from one fourth, okay, I need to borrow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a one whole from this seven and make it a six, and I'm gonna add that one to this one fourth. So now it's one and one fourth. So now I can take away three quarters from one and one fourth. So I'm gonna make one and one fourth a, a improper fraction, which is five fourths, right? And the way I did that is I did four times one, which is four, and I added the one, made it a five. So now I can take away three fourths from five fourths. So five fourths take away three fourths is two fourths. And that now brings us down to here, step number five. So six take away two is gonna be four. And now we're almost done because four and two fourths can reduce down to four and one half. And that's our answer, okay? So again, the main reason why we had to borrow is because I couldn't take away three fourths from the one fourth. He couldn't do that. So I had to borrow and make that seven into a six and take that one and add it to the fourth and make it five fourths. All right, let's turn the page. Let's try one more problem here. All right, now this one is a little more advanced because notice our denominators are not the same, okay? So now we need to kind of incorporate steps number one and two. We need to rename these with common denominators. So I'm gonna rewrite these as six and a third minus two and four fifths. And we need to rename one third and four fifths so we have common denominators. So our least common multiple of three and five is 15. So that's gonna be our denominator. And then I need to rename these. So this is gonna be five fifteenths and this is gonna be 12 fifteenths. And the way I did that is I multiplied three times five to get 15. So I have to multiply the one times the five and that gives us the five. And then I'm gonna times this by three, and times this by three, and that's how I got the 12 fifteenths. But here's the problem, I can't take away 12 fifteenths from five fifteenths. So I need to now borrow a one whole from the six and make it a five, and take that one and put it over here. So now, you know, I'm gonna cross this out now because I don't need that anymore. So now I'm gonna make one and five fifteenths make it improper. So that's gonna be 20 fifteenths. So now I can subtract 12 fifteenths from 20 fifteenths. So 20 take away 12 is eight. And our denominator is gonna be 15. And now the, the last part is that I now subtract the whole numbers. So five take away two is three. And our final answer is gonna be three and eight fifteenths. And let's double check, make sure that it's written in lowest terms and it is. So there's our answer. All right, so what I want you to do is I want you to pause the video and try the your turn problem now. And when you're done, hit play, and you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say you do this practice problem. So the problem you had to solve was five and two sevenths, take away one and one half. So what I did, I tried to kind of color coordinate the steps with my work over here, all right? So because we had different denominators, a seven and two, we had to follow the first two steps here. And I did that in blue. So we had to rename, right, two sevenths and one half, okay, with common denominators. And when I did that, I got four fourteenths and also seven fourteenths. Now, because we can't take away seven fourteenths from four fourteenths, okay, we had to borrow. And I did that in red. So notice I made the five into a four. I took that one and I added it to the four fourteenths. Now, the next step in green, I then had to subtract the fractions, all right? Because we borrowed, I can now do that. 
So I made 1 and 4 fourteenths into 18 fourteenths, made it improper, and then when I subtracted 7 fourteenths from that, I got 11 fourteenths. Step number 5, I subtracted the whole numbers, so 4 take away 1 gives us 3. And then finally, I had to check to make sure it's in lowest terms, and it is, and our answer was 3 and 11 fourteenths, and there it is. All right, how'd you do?